I'm Joseph Tax Dozier, and I nominate John McCain because I am not a partisan Republican, though a registered Republican. True conservatism is political prudence, the absence of ideology, the absence of adhering to special interests, caving into lobbyists, and that is John McCain. I am nominating John McCain because I believe in his record of standing up to the status quo, whether it be big oil or corporate interests. And I'm also nominating John McCain because I believe in his economic policies. Yes, it's true, Barack Obama will be cutting taxes for the middle class. Yes, Barack Obama will be not increasing capital gains taxes for the middle class. However, right now, the thing we need, as times are tough economically, is not tax increases on small businesses, is not tax increases on total household incomes coming in around $200,000, $250,000, because if you had total household income, you'll be discouraging a lot of growth from middle class families who are trying to make it out, who are trying to, uh, who are trying to make a living during this hard time on, with the housing market. So the thing is, you might be t cutting taxes for the poor sector of society, you might be cutting taxes for the lower middle class of society, but once the lower middle class reaches that threshold, once they get back on their feet, they're just whammed right into a wall of higher taxes. I agree with Barack Obama that the earned income tax credit should be increased just as John McCain will increase it. And I agree with Barack Obama that capital gains tax should not be increased just as John McCain will increase the capital gains tax. But when you look about it, look at the true program, it's John McCain who has the most thorough policy, who has earned the support of the National Business Associations of Small Businesses. And finally, I support John McCain because of his energy policy. Now, honestly, I'm realistic. We won't ever be truly energy, have true energy independence. But still, it is vital, it is critical for us to use all of the resources at our disposal right now. For example, where I live, natural gas at the Barnet Shell is a big income maker and it runs completely clean energy. This is something that McCain supports. I also believe in the use of nuclear energy, as France successfully has done, and it can be contained in a minimal way that doesn't hurt the environment too much. I also agree in use of wind power and hybrids, just as Barack Obama does, but I will not believe in a windfall profits tax for big oil when most of the people receiving the profits from oil companies are state-owned oil companies, OPEC, and these other com com countries like Venezuela. ExxonMobil only controls 2.5 percent of the top 100 private company markets, while the top, the big six U.S. oil companies control only 5 percent of the 100 private, top 100 private companies' oil markets. So if you think you are going to increase American dependence on our own oil, then the last thing you should be doing is going to taxing the companies that make up such a small percentage of the market as they compete against these unchecked, unaccountable, uh, state-controlled oil companies. And finally, I support John McCain because unlike Barack Obama, who when he had the chance to take on the Chicago Cook County political machine, Todd Stroger and Mayor Daley, it was John McCain who came to the table when it was unpopular to take on his party's establishment and to take on those who are on the right and on the left, whether it's the religious right, oh yes, he sometimes panders to them now, or on the far left, he has been in there from the Gang of Twelve trying to uh, judi judiciate the nominee process to uh, coming out now, I'm impressed him championing against ethanol, special interests, unlike Barack Obama. So that's why I support John McCain, 08. He's not the best we have, but he's a true American, he's great. It's a great thing to see Barack Obama as a candidate for the Democratic Party. He's an amazing man, I wish him so much, I have so much respect for him. But this time around, John McCain is my choice for President of the United States.